Hi, my name is Dan and I'm one of the DT evangelists here at Digital Tutors. In this video, we're going to look at a question from one of our users, BNK Pro, and how we can get the shadows out of our renders so that we can composite them later on. So to illustrate this, I have the car from the Automotive Modeling in 3ds Max course. And basically what I have here uh, is I have a simple light that's casting into my scene and it's going to be casting shadows onto the ground. So I've created a simple plane as the ground in order to catch the shadows. So if I were to come in and render this out. So as we can see, this is what it looks like uh, when we render out. And basically I have uh, it's just a simple image in the background that is going to be the environment that I can kind of match this up to for the positioning of uh, how the car is laid out. Um, but what I'd like to do is to be able to get these shadows under here. So we can see we're getting some nice shadows from the light. Uh, but if I come into my alpha channel, it's going to be very, very difficult to composite this into any footage uh, since we don't have an alpha channel. So I'm going to come in and clone this window real quick. That way we can just come back and compare later on. Let's come in and uh, apply a new material to this ground plane. So I'll hit M to open up my material editor. And let's just select one of these materials here. I'm going to switch this from the standard to, I'm going to create a new uh, matte shadow reflection. Okay, so go ahead and select that, click on OK, and that will add that. So now if I come in and render this out, Actually, before I do that, it might help if I actually applied it to my ground plane. <laughs> so let's come in, uh, select our ground plane here, and then uh, make sure we have our matte shadow reflection, and I'm going to go ahead and assign that to my ground plane. All right, so this is what our uh, ground looks like now when we have our uh, matte shadow reflection material applied to it. Uh, so as we notice right away, it's really, really dark. So it's basically turned this ground black. And that's having an effect on the reflections in our car. Uh, but if we come and look at the alpha channel, we can see that we're getting a nice alpha for our shadows. So the alpha channel is doing what we want it to do. Uh, but as far as the color channel, uh, it's kind of having a, an effect on our car itself. So what we can do is we can actually adjust this camera mapped background parameter. And basically what we'll want to do is to turn it transparent so that we can see our environment in the background. So I'm just going to come in and um, apply a new material to this. If we look under other here, let's scroll down, we'll find our trans matte material. So we go ahead and apply that to the uh, camera mapped background. So now we can see we're getting um, our nice reflections here in the car. In fact, they might be a little too crisp. We may, depending on what our project uh, requires, we may want to actually go in and uh, if we're getting something like this, we could go in and kind of blur the reflection some. Uh, but if we notice that for the shadows, if I were to switch to our my alpha channel, we're getting the nice shadows in our alpha. Uh, so if we were to take this into a compositing package, it would be very, very easy uh, to be able to uh, incorporate this into some footage uh, just because we're able to use this alpha that's being created by this matte shadow reflection material. So that is a look at how we can use that matte shadow reflection material on our ground plane in order to create an alpha channel that we can then pull into our compositing application. Now, if you want to learn some more tips about how to use some of these materials, I'd really recommend checking out the Introduction to 3ds Max 2011 course.